In this video, you'll learn how to set up an ASP.NET pivot grid control, bind it to a database, and visualize data displayed in the pivot grid using the Extra Charts suite. First, I added the SQL Server database to the project, selected the Salesperson table, and chose three fields from it, category name, order date, and extended price. Let's open the Pivot Grid Smart menu and bind the Pivot Grid control to SQL Data Source 1. Now, open the designer and retrieve all fields to add them to the control. I want to create two date fields with month and year group intervals. So I set up the order date fields group interval property to date year and set its caption to year. Then I create a new field and set its caption to month. Use the group interval function to select the month portion of the date and bind it to the order date field. Now I drag and drop fields between areas. I put the category name field into row area, the year field into filter area, and the month field into column area. I set the pivot grid's width property to 700 pixels. And if the width is wider than 700 pixels, I want to show the horizontal scroll bar. Now let's take a look at this in action. And as you can see, we have a pivot grid and can scroll its data or easily filter it by year or show data only for some categories. Next, let's add a chart to the project to visualize information in the ASP.NET Pivot Grid control. I'll do this by adding a web chart control from the Data and Analysis section. I set its data source to use the Pivot Grid, and I set the Width property to 700 pixels and the Height property to 400 pixels. Now let's open the wizard to specify the chart. Here, you can choose different chart types. In this case, I'll choose a line chart, which I can customize further. To do this, I set the appearance and use a different set of colors. For example, let's choose Northern Lights and select the Finish button. Finally, I set the Pivot Grid's Enable Callbacks property to false to automatically update the chart control according to the update of the ASP.NET Pivot Grid and set the Provide Data by Columns property to false to display rows by series in the chart. And let's see this in action. We have a pivot grid and chart that visualizes pivot grid data. I can customize this data, and as I do, the chart will automatically update to reflect that information. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.